Hey everybody, it's Joe. I've got a roll of Copperfill. What chess set am I going to print and is it going to shine or will it just be a dull glow? Let's find out. Hey everybody, it's Joe, the 3D printing professor. So this is a roll of a Finia brand Copperfill, although I suspect that all the Copperfill kind of comes from the same place, but this is a 3D printing filament with copper infused into it. What that means, I'm not entirely sure. I think that they have copper dust put into the PLA as it's printing, which means that it has the potential to ruin your nozzle, but with copper fill, they seem to think that it's a thin enough, a fine enough powder that it wouldn't ruin your nozzle. So what chess set am I going to 3D print? Well, I found a good one. I'm printing the Robots vs. Wizards chess set by Dutch Mogul, who I'm super excited to feature his work. He does a lot of great works. If you haven't seen Pocket Tactics, you should check it out. It's a lot of just amazing miniatures and fun and, and a great game. And today we're printing his chess set. So let's see how that turns out. So the print turned out really good and I, I do enjoy this chess set because each of the pieces, they're really pushing the border of, of recognizable as their own pieces. At first glance, you might not be sure what this is, but then you realize, no, 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 that's the knight. And well, this is obviously the queen. And each of the pieces have just enough uh, unique identifiers that relates to their original icons that you can recognize them for what they are. This is the pawn and so my first job was to try and do the various polishing that people talk about with these sets. And I actually printed one of my uh, carnival coins and tried to polish it first. The first attempt that I had at polishing was to use some cheap uh, uh, steel wool that I got at the dollar store. I'm not even sure this is steel wool. It looks more like brass wool, but never mind. It'll go good with the copper. And so I polished and polished for as long as I could, and it just didn't really have any effect. In fact, if anything, it made it look duller more than more shiny. So I decided to not worry about that. Other people recommended using a powered brush that you put onto a Dremel tool or a drill and try polishing it with. And when I did that, it completely wrecked this print. I'm not sure if you can see here, but I'll get you a close-up picture. It wrecked the detail on the print. It just chewed it up. This is, after all, PLA, and you can't treat it like metal. I maybe had the, the speed too high. I maybe melted it. I don't know, but I do not recommend the polishing brushes. So my last choice was to actually go for and get a rock tumbler 
And according to a lot of the people online, you just throw a bunch of brass screws in there and tumble it. Now, this isn't a cheap proposition. It's not particularly expensive, but for a couple of silly prints and for a few chess sets, I'm not sure it's entirely worth it. If you already have a rock tumbler, then great, but if you don't, then I'm not sure this is worth doing. However, the effect was really amazing. So here is the polished version, and you'll notice that I'm wearing gloves because I noticed as I was working with it, well, I mean, first of all, let's talk about the polish. Here's how it looked before. It's a completely different color. Yeah, it's much shinier, but the color changed, which got me thinking. And then I noticed that I was getting a lot of, of brass dust on my fingers as I was working with this, and I realized this isn't polishing. This is gilding. I'm essentially breaking off little pieces of brass and embedding it into there, but it's not really embedding very well. So I took a brush and I brushed off as much of the brass dust as I could, and this is what came out. Still a different color than the original, still much shinier than the original, and this one's not producing as much brass dust. So I highly recommend you take the originals as they come out and brush them off, but wear gloves and a mask because brass dust, I know I've poo-pooed the amount of brass, uh, the amount of lead that is in brass, but there is lead in brass and you are now breathing it in if you breathe in this brass dust. So use a little bit of caution with this stuff. The effect is really good. However, it's also really expensive. Not only did I have to buy the tumbler, but I had to buy the screws to put in it. There's about $20 worth of screws that I put in here with them to get this polish. And how many polishes am I going to get out of that $20 before I have to add more screws to get the fine detail because I'm breaking them off and using them to gild these things? I don't know. But if I were offering this as a service to other people, I'd have to think really hard about how much I would charge for this. The effect is amazing, but is it amazing because the polishing that happens or is it amazing because it's being gilded? I'm not sure. I printed another copy of the Carnival coin and polished this one as well. And this one didn't take to the gilding as well. It's still got most of its original color. However, the feel of it feels much more like a metal coin than unpolished did. And I find that extremely, I don't know, unusual. So polishing apparently does do something for it, even if it's just to change the texture of it so it feels like metal. Still a little bit lighter weight than metal would be because it is a 3D print and it's hollow in the middle. But overall this feels more like a coin. Now a pro tip to people who are using tumblers. I initially just threw my tumbler, uh, threw my screws, I'm sorry. I initially just threw my screws right in here and it coated the inside of this with that brass dust and it just embedded it in there. And then I saw online that somebody came up with the bright idea of printing an insert and then putting it in there, which serves to both make the inside of this a little bit smaller so that it tumbles more, although it makes it so that you can only do smaller things. But that's, that's not bad. Most of the things that I'm gonna polish in here are small. And it also makes this reusable. I can just throw in a different insert if I want to polish different things. Now, this was my initial one, and the modeling of this was so super simple that I thought I should make a video about this. But then after actually using it and getting it halfway in there and realizing I wasn't going to be able to get it back out, I had to uh, embellish on the design a little bit. What I came up with has ridges on the inside, a ridge around the middle that I can use to get it up with my finger, and a lid with little fins to keep things turning as it rotates around. This is just big enough that the rubber lid just keeps it pressed on there as it works, but it's loose enough that it comes off super easy. So this is the uh, Tumblr Insert Deluxe, and I may put this one up online if anybody else wants to see it. Now. Talking about gilding, however, there I threw a print in here that wasn't made out of copper fill, just to see if it would be more shiny and improve the feel of it. And this was just a yellow 3D printed ring, and you could see this one on my, on my video that I'm touring my show-off shelf. After brushing off the excess dust, it doesn't feel like metal like the copper fill does. However, it looks very shiny. 
So there you go. The polishing doesn't actually affect the appearance, but it does affect the feel of the copper fill filament. So if you want, you can just use this tumbling method and tumble it with brass screws on any 3D print and it will look fantastic. But if you want it to feel like a metal print, then you need to use the copper fill to do it. So there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the rest of the chest set in here and tumble it for, oh, it took almost 24 hours to get the tumbling to look as good as I wanted it. So we're gonna just let that run and we'll exit on a picture of that chest set. So thank you very much for watching. Again, Simon wants to remind you to like, subscribe, share, and enjoy this video. And I'll see you next time. So a quick thing to end this video with, I, uh, I threw some more screws in here and, and tumbled all of my parts and they came out, they came out not shiny. They look pretty darn cool, but they, they've kind of gotten a nasty sort of dull and the inside of my tumbler has been just covered with this gray stuff and I couldn't, I couldn't figure out what it was and then I did. The screws that I threw in that I thought were brass were actually steel coated in brass. Are they steel or something else? They weren't brass screws. And consequently it knocked all of the gilding off of these and now they're just this kind of dull grayish color. Which still looks cool but I, I kind of wish that they were still gilded. Still, I figure that's my own fault. I'll see if I can salvage this one. Clearly my experimentation with this isn't over. I just have to decide if I really want to do more with it. But anyways, I still love this chest set. It's absolutely gorgeous. Link in the description, you guys know. All right, thanks for watching guys.